All right, what's up, heroes? This is Bounce Breakfast coming at you with another ranked game. This time we are playing on Garden of Terror, and uh, I matched up against a sponsored team. I'll call them sponsored team right now, because um, the word pro doesn't really mean that much yet in heroes. Um, since the scene is is growing, it's definitely going to be there, but it's not completely established yet. But anyways, we're up against a sponsored team, Stellar Lotus, aka Pro Team, um, and uh, we just randomly matched up against these uh, against these guys in Heroes League. And we're going to see how this game turns out. So, yeah, let's take a look at the picks real fast. I picked a Nubarak first pick, because first pick, you just got to pick something solid. You can't do anything too crazy, at least if you're just trying to win. And I was like, you know, we're playing pro team. Let's let, let, let's go hard. Anyways, we've got also Zeratul, Gazlo, Brightwing, and Tychus. That Zeratul, Gazlo have that synergy. If they can pull it off, there's no communication on our team, though. No voice comms or anything like that. So we'll see how that goes. Um, Gazlo is the kind of odd pick out. The other team, they're very powerful. They've got Kel'thas, Jaina, Tyrael, Tassar, and Uther. Double support with uh, and double burst assassin with a Tyrael um, tank. That means they're going to be playing extremely aggressively. Um, Uther can save anybody pretty much, if even if they dive too hard with that Divine Shield. Um, of course, Tyrael, Master Diver with that Judgment. And then uh, Jaina can sprint in, pick off somebody, and Kel'thas does damage from afar, uh, staying in the back and middle lines of their team. So they've got a very well-rounded team comp built for hero pickoffs. Um, and our team is a little all over the place, um, um, but I guess we'll see how things turn out here on Garden of Terror. It's always pretty exciting to match up against uh, pro players. Because I feel like I almost like imagine myself in a tournament versus these pros. It's like, all right, let's go. Um, I'm really hoping if we can pull off some good Gazlo, uh, Zeratul Gazlo combos, um, we'll definitely be able to take this home. But it's not something that's reliable. I mean, I can't, like, I can't rely on them pulling it off every team fight. If they can pull it off once in the game, I'm, I, like, I'll be happy. Um, Tychus though is a pretty solid assassin and Brightwing is one of the best supports out there uh, currently. Let's see, should I go for a beetle build or a kind of crowd control sort of build? Um, I think I'm just going to go for the beetle build. It's, pr it's, it's just pretty solid. You can't go wrong with that. The gate shall open in um, seconds. I'm gonna actually solo lane from what it seems like. So we need to watch out for their picks. Just letting the team know that so everybody's aware. Um, yeah, they could be anywhere. I'm not too I'm not too worried myself because I have so many options to escape. I see Jaina in the in the mid lane. I'm just gonna use some abilities to spawn some beetles. Uh oh, Brightwing take, going down. And we're not gonna really kill this Tassadar, so the best we can do is just harass. I might actually even swing down bot for a gank. Now that I've pushed out that lane, and they're extending pretty far up uh, bot. Come on, I'm trying to, trying to get them to focus on one target. They were focusing Uther, but then um, I was trying to ping Kel'thas because I felt like Kel'thas would have been an easier pick. So this is not the best start. Wow. So four kills right off the bat in less than the first minute. So we're playing a little too aggressively versus their uh, pick comp. But what we need to do is just play defensively. Yeah, I agree with what Zeratul is saying, so that's that's going to be our plan from now on. I just want to get us a little soak here, because um, there was a bigger wave mid, and then I'm going to transition on to the seeds. I'm not too great at taking seeds by myself, though. I'm 
All right, and then I think what we're what this is gonna turn out to be is we're just gonna whoa Okay, they're all coming here. I don't want to get into fight just back We don't have uh, that much damage with you know Gazlo, Brightwing and myself And they're doing that, you know really stupid uh, strategy nowadays or stupid popular whatever um, with that promoted minion, man, that's strong. It's because it's hard to kill, and they, it pushes the wave up so much. I'm taking quite a lot of damage, but I'm okay because I know I have healing well. Oh man, that's fail for me. I missed that stun. If I hit that, we would have got him. Yeah, we're, we're about a whole level down now, so that's pretty dangerous. And Tass is just shoving this mid lane. Alright, yeah, so turning around. Alright, we don't have bot lane soak. Everybody went top to try to get something done. But looks like do we kill anybody even? Oh we got Uther. Yeah, but we can't be missing soak, especially if we're behind like this. There's really not much I can do versus Kelpis. Alright. But maybe I can lure him in, be a little lure him in. Alright, we'll body block him since I missed that. Alright, come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Let's see, Beetle's heal and Nubarak, yeah, I think that'll be good, since they have so much burst damage, we need some way to resist that. Yeah, hmm, we're going for it, because it looks like they're taking top, so we're just going to do the trade. Seems like we need to try to steal some from top, no, I don't think so, we're okay. Alright, nice. They managed to steal some from us, but it's alright. Nobody got the terror, so it's all good. They need to be really careful. They're all coming. I'm gonna rotate down to help out the team. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Jaina went down as well, so there's two, they're two down. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna bro charge in because I don't wanna, you know, insinuate that I wanna go in at all. Because if I went in, my team's gonna try to charge in. Yeah, we're missing we're missing top soak. Which isn't the greatest. Tiro's gonna take some damage. And now we've come back in experience, which is always nice. Oh whoa, everybody's running top. All right, nope. Trying to get that experience from that minion. All right, I'm stunning Jaina because she's, you know, most of the damage. I have bro charge up, so I should be fine. Okay. We're both going to hit 10 around the same time, so there's, you know, nothing real big we can do with that, but... And I'm gonna go for Web Blast, because that ability is huge. Um, people like Locust Swarm because it does damage, but util the utility that you get from Web Blast is amazing. You basically make a 5 versus 5, a 4 versus 5 in any fight. And for example, if I Web Blast somebody like Jaina, they've got nothing. Uh, they've got no damage, or well, aside from Kale. Um, but Kale is such an easy target to pick off. Oh man, miscommunication there. I thought 
Zeratul wanted to capture that siege camp. Just gonna push mid a little bit. Kassar is super annoying with his promoted minions. We gotta keep an eye on that, keep that in check. Right, they're probably doing their siege camps. Yeah. A little bit of a misplay from Gazlo. Uh, if you're gonna pick Gazlo, it's important that you're able to get. Um, so right here, I'm gonna web blast Jaina. Uh, that should save us because again, where's their damage? They don't have any damage. All right. The so knight's coming up, so this is going to be significant because, of course, the terror is going to be decided here. Whoever can get the terror first, you know, is going to have a little bit of an advantage because maybe they can get it into the fight in time to steal the other terror. It's just kind of back and forth like that, so I'm just going to get ready, but this Tassar did a great job at picking up the siege camps. Uh, because that's going to put pressure mid lane, but I need to grab some of these these seeds. Alright, here. Seeds are grabbed. And the enemy team has seeds, has uh, Terra as well. We're, we have, we've got a great push going on mid. Um, so what I'm going to do is grab Terra. Because I can't, I mean, I'm not going to do much as an Anubarak trying to clear waves. Alright, so I'm going to go for, let's see, Spell Shield for sure, because they got Jaina and Kel'Thas. So much spell damage. Uh-oh. We are, hmm, we're trying to push bot just really hard by ourselves, which is an alright strategy, but, hmm. There's not going to be much I can do with the Terror right now without team. Alright, so what I'm just gonna do is run run around and you know attract attention and just distract. I don't wanna go on the towers alone. Alright, time to run. Just what I'm doing is keeping the majority of the enemy team busy so my team can, you know, do whatever they need to do. Alright. Wow, so they're all over me. Which is alright. I just don't want to die before the duration uh, goes down. Because, you know, that's not the most ideal. Alright, nice. I'm still alive, and they're not. I'm just gonna drop the plant just because why not? I'm about to die. I'm trying to survive as long as possible because Terra does so much damage. I can chuck another polymorph and. Hopefully swing the fight. Nice. The web blast off on Jaina. There's too much damage coming out. But the team, unfortunately, we, we got two dead. There's not much we can do here. The Dare tool, yeah, not gonna survive. So they're gonna be able to get that bottom tear. I might charge in and try to steal some seeds at the end, so you know that so they won't be able to spawn the garden tear. But that's going to cost me my life, so I'm not sure if I want to go ahead and do that. Might just harass a little bit. Hmm, yeah, I'm not going to be able to deny them the Garden Terror. Wow, this Jaina's going balls to the wall. Alright, I think she's going to try to sprint for me, but she's... She might even... Oh, wow, she went too hard. That Jaina going too ham. I don't know why she wanted to kill me so bad. It's not like killing me there would have really, you know, allowed them to do anything. I would have been back within, I don't know, what's the time, maybe 30 seconds? And I'd be up by the time their terror comes to our base. So that was kind of a useless point of ham from Jaina. Usually if you go ham trying to get that last kill, what you want it because um, it'll get you something. If Like, you know, let's say you kill one person then it'll get you, you know, the next objective easier or something like that. Actually, I'm, I decided not to go on the Garden Tear and instead go towards... Uh, well, stick with the team. I thought the team was going to fight. 
but instead we're just gonna ignore the fight and go for Garden Terror, which is probably a good idea because uh, this is gonna allow us to pick off whoever's inside here. We go for Blood for Blood. All right, this Tassar, of course, is gonna try to run. Web Blast on Jaina. And Tassar is completely body, body blocked. And uh, Tassar is dead, and now Jaina's gonna die. Oh my goodness, okay, almost. All right, so I gotta make sure I stun Jane. Oh. Oh wow. What? Okay. We're just blowing ulties left and right right now. All right. Materials with or Zeratul is with me. All right. Nice. I got Jaina. We're gonna see if we can kill her. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness. We can't. But it's okay. We got Tassadar. Um. There's a lot of stuff we can do. Gaslow needs to. Yeah, Gaslow needs to be getting all these mercenaries. Uh, that's what we need him for. We don't need him. We don't really don't need him for you know pushing. He's he's okay at pushing, of course, but he's so good at mercenaries. It's like that's what you want to do with Gaslow. Ah, uh, okay. Well. The one thing that um, I, fe I feel like has been holding us back in just stomping this game is team coordination. We're doing like decent every now and then, but we just don't feel coordinated at all. But you know, I'm, I'm not. I can't blame them at all for it, since uh, we are we aren't uh, we aren't a team or anything like that. All right, what the? I'm gonna blood for blood that guy. Wow. Pop Darkon, okay, that's something. And then we're gonna be able to get top keep. Yeah, but yeah, uh, our coordination's been getting better throughout the game, but um, it just kind of hasn't been there. We sort of try to make different decisions and we hesitate to make a decision when there's something that needs to be done. That's quite all right. Uh oh, watch, watch the, uh, I gotta watch the living bomb um, explosions. Yeah, we need to get seeds right now. Where's their DPS? Kale's their DPS. In the web wrap he goes. Uh oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Okay. They're pretty low. Oh my gosh, Tyrael still had judgment. I can't go in on that. Yeah, because Noob is not very tanky. I can uh, still throw that down to try to save though. And what I'm gonna do is head bottom to try to grab some of these um, seeds. I would want to defend this, but as a Nubarak and have, having picked none of the AoE talents, uh, trying to defend that is just slamming my face against the brick wall. It's not gonna do anything for my team. Uh, and doing this is a lot better for my team. We need Tychus or Zeratul, one of them, to clear that wave instead of me going there trying to do something I can't. Alright, so there's Tyrael. He's just scouting. And uh, their, their, their team is definitely top. Let's see, should we defend? Yeah. Hmm. I'm just going to try to get my team to come and do this. Yeah, they're, they're not hiding there. Then doing this will give us the terror, and I'm pretty confident that the other team is doing theirs right now. This game, though, is very, very even, I gotta say. Although they have taken our bottom heap because our composition just sucks at wave clears, uh, especially when we don't have Tychus or uh, Zeratul. Oh, oh man, I thought they didn't have enough for terror. That would have been absolutely perfect. Uh, but they do. Um... Yeah, Gaslow is probably a good one to to grab it. Because um, I need to be in the next team fight. It's gonna be a level 20 fight. It's gonna be huge. Jaina needs to be web wrapped. Alright, good. Gaslow got it. Clearing top. Group. Group mid. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna go for Hardened Shield. Gotta go for that. Try to. We, we gotta force the fight right now. Force the fight. We just gotta force that fight. They're 19. We're 20. They're not gonna get 20 because they need to soak. Their garden terror is even gone to soak. So it's 
Four versus five, and they don't even have their Garden Terra here. Come on, team. Time's running out. We need to start this fight. All right, go in with the Web Blast. Come on, we just need to start. Oh, man, team. Really trying to get the team to understand. Yeah, because at that point, they weren't 20 yet, and they weren't, like, that... Well, they were close, but they weren't going to get... They weren't going to get 20. And plus, their Garden Terror was even off in another lane. So it was 5 versus 4, and they didn't have their Garden Terror. That's alright. Now we just got to be really careful. Uh-oh. Pop a Hardened Shield as I try to peel for um, Odin. It's not happening. Yeah, there was a good, like, you know, 30 second window where they were 19 with, like, maybe a tiny little bit uh, till 20. But since they all had to defend against our push, they couldn't, you know, soak lanes. And that's when we really just needed to go in and force that fight. Like, we had so many ways to force a fight. Zero Tools Void Prism is great. You just Void Prism two people, and either either the enemy team has to, like, leave those two behind, which they're not going to do, or they're going to try to fight us, and that's forcing the fight. Web Blast can also work a similar way. Um, I was trying to get a Web Blast on Jaina so that our team would converge around that location while the enemy team is trying to break her out of the Web Blast and start the fight. Um, but unfortunately, we weren't able to uh, be as coordinated as we needed in that last fight. But no worries, of course, there was no voice comm. Just random people, so it's totally understandable that we didn't have that level of coordination. Uh, so it's completely fine. But anyways, great game nonetheless. I really, really enjoyed playing that game. Um, I'm going to go play myself some more ranked games. Thanks for watching. This is Balanced Breakfast, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Next video. Next video.